I'm a right tackle. Don't get mad. Uh-huh. It's just what it is. What it is. Yeah, we talking sports shot out in Graven Vance. Yeah, this feels like a dream. Like a dream. Ain't no- so YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Saint Graven here with another video. And in this video, first, before we get into it, shout out. You know what? Let's put them on this side. Shout out to all the team, keep it clean patrons. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I appreciate y'all. We appreciate y'all. Um, the most recent question from subscribers, it was all patrons. So they the ones that were coming up with them fire questions, especially the one about Antonio Brown. Uh, but shout out to them. Now, a question that a lot of people have come up with recently uh, is where should the Ravens trade Orlando Brown Jr.? Where should he go? Should they trade him to the Chargers? Should they trade him to the Dolphins for Devontae Parker? Should they just trade him to the Dolphins for just some draft picks? Where should Orlando Brown Jr. go? And there's a lot of teams you could pin him with. I know some people have been talking about some rumor going around where the Bears are the most interested. I don't really put any stock in that, though. But there's a lot of uh, question marks on where he could end up this offseason. Of course, he came out. He said that he's a left tackle. He wants to play left tackle. He doesn't want to be a right tackle anymore. He, his father envisioned him playing left tackle. He wants to do that. And it's okay. We respect that. But I think the biggest reason, again, why he wants to play left tackle is because left tackles, they make the most money. But anyway, he has his eyes set on that prize. So, um, of course, the Ravens, they already have their left tackle. They have their left tackle who they're paying that large chunk of money to as well. Uh, That being Ronnie Stanley. And even though he is coming back from injury, which also adds to this, Orlando Brown Jr. said, hey, Ravens got that guy already. I don't want to be on the right side. I'm ready to bounce. So where is he going to go? Who knows where he's going to end up? Who knows? But I was on my guy Sonny's stream last night, and he asked me, he said, Engraven, what's your dream scenario for the Ravens coming out of training camp? So, of course, I talked about the wide receiver position. I talked about play calling. I talked about the roster. We talked about all of that. But when I spoke about the offensive line, my dream scenario would be that Orlando Brown Jr. would stay. And that's actually a possibility because – There hasn't been anything yet. Now, the closer and closer we get to the draft and we are less than a month away, then the probability of Orlando Brown Jr. being traded, it rises just a bit. But if we make it to the draft and he isn't traded yet, I definitely wouldn't expect him to go anywhere. If if the draft comes and he's still a Raven, then I would expect him to continue to be a Raven for this season. And again, the Ravens, they hold all the cards when it comes to Orlando Brown Jr. They hold each and every single card because Orlando Brown Jr. is under contract. And while this would be the last contract, I mean the last season of his contract, if he decides, oh, you know what? These Ravens, ah, I want to be a left tackle and I'm going to sit out. Well, then he could sit out. Okay, no problem. But he would lose more money than he made. And the biggest thing that he would lose even more than the money would be another accrued season. So that means if he sat out this entire season, which I definitely wouldn't expect. But if he sat out this entire season, then this season wouldn't count to his number of seasons that he played. Therefore, he would come back next year and he would still be a Baltimore Raven. So it just sitting out isn't going to happen. He's not going to sit out the season. It's just not going to happen. Uh, but the Ravens, they don't want to just ship him off for pennies. They don't want to just ship him off for nothing. They don't want to. They, they're going to want to ship him off to somebody that can give them a deal that they just can't refuse. And, of course, you know there have been offers for Orlando Brown Jr. You know people have been like, oh, Orlando Brown Jr.? Wow, a young guy? A, a, a guy who's never injured? A guy who's still on his rookie contract? And even though you're going to have to pay him a lot, large sum of money... He's still on his rookie deal, so you can negotiate with him when it comes to a contract extension and whatnot. And you're going you're gonna to have to take care of him, but Orlando Brown Jr., he got to look nice to a lot of teams, especially teams that run the ball a lot because that's where he excels at. But could the Ravens just be like, you know what? We're going to keep you. We want you to remain with this team for this year. And then next year, okay, fine. Go be a free agent. And they could also pitch him on, uh, well, I mean, they ain't even got to pitch him because, again, Ravens hold all the cards, but they could just let him know, like, as a little incentive, like, hey, next year, when you're a free agent, 
You're not going to have to talk to different teams about a trade and whatnot. No, no, no. You get to negotiate whatever you want to. The world is yours. And we don't have to narrow it down to certain teams that we like. No, because you'll be a free agent. Orlando Brown Jr., no hard feelings. Welcome back. Because, you know, when he comes back, it might be a little bit awkward. Like, oh, <laughs> I'm a right tackle. Uh, but it, it may be a little bit weird. But I'm sure they will be able to get over it rather quickly. Um, so, I, I, and I just, I don't want them to add to their question marks on the offensive line. I, I just, I, that's the biggest thing for me. I don't want them because we already have question marks at center. Who's going to be the, the, the center and who's going to be the left guard? Because I think the, the status of those two positions right now is still up in the air. We don't know who's going to be there. Now, of course, Ronnie Stanley will be the left tackle, but then even there's a small question mark with Ronnie Stanley. Will he be healthy? Will he be 100% healthy? Because we know that when an offensive lineman suffers a serious injury, we experienced it last season, and they come back a little too early, it can be really bad. And that's what happened with Matt Skura. I know a lot of people noticed with Matt Skura from the jump. They said he just, he didn't have it like he had it the previous year. And a lot of people, I, I remember in so many videos early on in the season, so many people were saying, man, Matt Skura, he just, it do, he doesn't look the same. It doesn't look like he's all the way back yet. And that made sense. So th we don't want the same thing to happen with Ronnie Stanley. So then there goes where Orlando Brown Jr., his value to the Ravens, it still stays up. It rises because Ronnie Stanley... We, 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 got, we hope that he's healthy and we hope that he's ready moving forward into next season. But at the same time, it's like, ah, oh, we just, we don't know all the way yet. So there's that. Um, so with Orlando Brown Jr., <laughs> the Ravens could be like, you know what? Hey, come on, man. We're we going to keep you around, my friend. We don't want you going anywhere. And, and you got to feel like the Ravens wouldn't want him going anywhere regardless. I mean, until it's actually time because you, you, you already knew that they weren't going to pay him. You, you knew that when it came to Lamar Jackson, Mark Andrews, and Orlando Brown Jr., that he was going to end up being the odd man out. We knew that because, of course, Lamar ain't going nowhere. He better not go nowhere. Ravens, don't play with me. Don't play with me. But Mark Andrews, you know, he ain't going nowhere either. And again, they, they, we would love them to. I mean, I would love them to, to be, to be able to pay both of their tackles. But it's just not something that we envision uh, going down. We just, we just don't. Um, so with Orlando Brown Jr., hey, what if he stays? What if he stays and he solidifies the right side of that offensive line? That could be, that could be better. That could be a better solution. And for right guard, you get you got Atlanta Brown Jr. Then you got Kevin Zeitler, and then at center you get it figured out. At left guard, you get it figured out. At left tackle, you get Ronnie Stanley. You get Nick Boyle coming back too, and you know Nick Boyle, he's a tight end, but he's a really good blocking tight end. So again, but you gotta hope that he's healthy as well. See how it this if Orlando Brown Jr. gets traded, it can just lead to so much. And you know the Ravens got a plan, I'm sure, but still, you'd rather the plan be a little easier than a little harder. Because we don't know if, if Nick Boyle is going to be 100%. Now, they did resign Eric Tomlinson to sort of uh, be that insurance policy just in case Nick Boyle isn't ready to go all the way. But, man, you just, I, I just don't want it to be where the Ravens have more questions than answers. And, of course, we are in, currently in, like, that second wave of free agency, and we haven't even hit the draft yet. So the Ravens are going to have their opportunities. And then there's still some guys that are out there on the market and whatnot, but... There's those guys that are out there on the market. Why are they out there on the market? And why are they still out there on the market? And would they be better options at right tackle than Orlando Brown Jr.? You see what I'm saying? So it, it would just, if he could stay, like, I, I mean, I, I don't really expect him to, but every day that passes, man, we've heard less and less about him possibly being traded. Less and less. But, you know, this is usually where Ravens make them crazy moves, though. When ain't nobody saying nothing, when ain't nobody talking about nothing, this is usually where Ravens strike. So we'll see. But, Ravens, if you don't strike and you decide, you know what, we're going to keep Orlando Brown Jr., trust me, I won't be mad. So hopefully, like Orlando Brown Jr. isn't when it comes to the Ravens in this football season, 
I'm out.